Heavy metal horns up for Tim Shively coming in with this one. Says so Shane, you haven't done any pretty maids in a while, and we love pretty maids. Full disclosure, I got in on on that band on the Future World album. They hit the MTV Headbangers Ball, and I said, "Oh, who's this?" And then I bought the vinyl. Uh, we are going to learn about pretty maids here today, and then we're going to listen to the song "Sickening," and we're doing that for Tim. Our pal Tim. So let's learn about Pretty Mates and then get into the song. I've not heard this, uh, which is all the more reason that it's on first listens, because I have not heard the songs that we do on the first listens. Uh, so let's learn about Pretty Mates and then we'll listen to the song. Sound good? Here we go. 165,573 monthly listeners on the Spotify account. Top five jams. What do you think the number one is? Uh, please don't leave me. I don't know if I know that song. 5.6 million plays. Good numbers. Little Drops of Heaven. I want to say I have heard that. 6.5 million plays. Future World. That is in the third slot with uh, 4 million plays. Back to Back. 2 million plays. And the song that we are doing here today for Tim. Sickening in the fifth slot there with 1 million. 2 149,341 listens. Now we're going to get into them albums and see what this band has released a lot, right? Uh, I'd be curious as to where they start. Oh, so they only had one record before Future World. Okay, so you got uh, Red Hot and Heavy, 1984, 1987's Future World. That's where I heard them. Jump the Gun, 1990, Sin Decade, uh, 1992, Stripped. You got Screaming Live, you got Pandemonium. It Comes Alive, uh, Made in Switzerland. You got Motherland, Louder Than Ever, Kingmaker. That's the record where this song comes from. <coughs> A Blast from the Past, 2019. Undress Your Madness, 2019. And Made in Japan, Future World. I'd be curious if they're doing that. Is it, is it in its entirety? The Future World with Yellow Rain and all that on there? Yeah, I think so. Love Games, We Came to Rock. Da, 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 da. I think they're doing that whole record live there, so you can listen to that at your own leisure if you'd like to. Uh, now we're going to get into them related artists. This will take us down the rabbit hole of other bands to check out, other bands that we're going to know. These are bands that maybe uh, Pretty Maids has played shows with or toured with over the years, or they're on the same kinds of playlists as Pretty Maids. And you've got Pink Cream 69. That's some fellows from Halloween, yes? Uh, Talisman. We've mentioned them, John Norum, uh, Chakra, you got Magnum. I'm going to say something here, and I feel ashamed by this, but there is a song from Magnum that, in, that gets under my skin so badly. It's called Peaches and Cream, and I don't know why. They say it goes with peaches and cream, and, the, and it's just, it, I, you know, everyone's got one of them songs that just hits them in the ugh, and that's, I don't know why. Uh, Jaded Heart. You got Victory, you got Macaulay Shanker Group, uh, Bonfire, I think we've done them before. House of Lords, I know we've done. Treat, yes, we've done Treat before. Hardline, yes, we have. So there you have that. That's the related artists for the band. Uh, what did I just do here? Uh, now it is that time to get into the bio, and then we listen to the song. And you've got the dudes here, and by God, they are dressed to the nines in that very stylish kind of, well, it's it's made to look hard rocking. Uh, it's made to look slightly dirty and unkempt and put together, but it was manufactured and the outfits are, are, are you know, in that pit photo right here is probably about a million dollars worth of clothing. And they're saying, Shane, get over here. We want to get you some some American jeans, uh, some bedazzled jeans on, and we're going to play hacky sack. Danish hard rock band, The Pretty Maids, were formed in 1981 by singer Ronnie Atkins. Rest, we love this guy. We No, we, we, we love him deeply. And guitar and guitarist Ken Hammer, adding guitarist Pete Collins, bassist John Darrow, and drummer Phil Moore. Great, easy names to say. Thank you for that. The group recorded a demo which earned them a contract with the British label Bullet resulting in the 1983 re-release of their self-titled debut EP. The same year, the Pretty Maids supported Black Sabbath on their tour of Scandinavia, and after replacing Collins with Ricky, with guitarist Ricky Hansen and, Dar and Darrow with bassist Alan DeLong, the band entered the studio to record their first LP 
for new label CBS 1984's Red Hot and Heavy. There you have that. It was just like one big run-on sentence, so I didn't want to stop. You know, it's like, okay, let's see. It's, are we going to hit a period here at some point? Okay, it is that time. We're going to get into this for our buddy Tim. We're doing it right now. Sickening by Pretty Maids. This is the tool, Tim. Tim, this is the tit. Tit, meet Tim. Tim, tit. I give you a taste. I take a taste. We listen to the song Sickening right here, right now. Let's do it. Let's go for it. By God, let's do it. Another fade in. You know I need the kapow. It's already got my hips going. Oh! Well, he's a brace. That's some chunky guitars. Images of brutal executions. You know what I'd say about that? The sickening. Kill the infidels? You're not insane. His voice is uh, seasoned. You know what I mean? It sounds good, but it sounds like an older version of, him, of himself. Human flesh. Well, he's just naming out things that are sickening. Boy, it's so big and full there. Is he talking about the internet? Copy web? Seeing sickening pictures on there? Murdering, right? It's a guy, right? Throw a couple of them in there. I mean, that was a good. That was a good stop on a dime. This is a zigging. Yeah, he's talking about everything that's on the internet. When you get on there and you Google, you know purple tomatoes or something like that. Someone goes, don't ever Google purple tomatoes. I can't remember what that was, but there was something that said, whatever you do, don't look up blueberry pancakes or something. And you're like, why? And uh, you know, it's just, it's uh, so what he's saying is when you get online and you're just Googling and you're looking at Google images or whatever, it's like, he's sickening. So he was just naming off a list of things where he's like, okay, yep, that's good. Yep. That's going down in the song. Sickening blue waffles. That's sickening. Jesus. Let's see what else is sickening on here. You know, what's sickening. 
That's sickening. That's going in the song, you know. Uh, what say you? Most important part of my videos, as always, is where you get in the comments below and tell me exactly what you think of the songs that we do here, what you think of the bands that we do here, the mighty Ronnie Atkins and Pretty Mates. We love him. We think he's fantastic. He's put out some solo stuff, too. Uh, so get in the comments and tell me all about it. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, I'm a huge fan of Pretty Mates. In fact, I am the all-time uh, hugest fan of Pretty Mates because I started the fan club. Really? You started the uh, International Pretty Mates Fan Club? Congratulations on that. Uh, all-time favorite album, all-time favorite songs. Did you get in on the uh, first record there, Hot and Ready, Fresh Pizzas to Go? Or did you get in on Future World, the second record, which uh, that's where I landed with them, is where I got on. I don't know that I've even listened to that first record all the way through, but perhaps I should do that in due diligence. Uh, have you ever seen Pretty Mates live? I'd be curious about that as well. I've never had a chance to see them live, and I would love to. Or at least see Ronnie live, but uh, uh, so you can get down there and tell me that. All-time favorite songs, all-time favorite album, and tell me about seeing them live and what you think the song's about, if you'd like to opine on that. Or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, it rocked. It was rockin' tight and right. It felt so right. Uh, toes tapping, ass clapping, and everything else. But it's just not my cup of tea. I was never a big uh, Pretty Maids fan. I still uh, ain't. It, it was an okay song, other than it's about sickening things. Uh, but don't want it, don't need it, I'm out here. All of that can be put in the comments below. Don't you know, you frosty folks. Sexy. Fantastic folks. Uh, if you have a hard rock, heavy metal special request, you know what to do, man. You know what to do. I mean, some say I should put this at the very beginning of the videos. I'm not going to do that. But hit one of them links in the description below. We will get it on for you in your honor with thumbsy upsies to you. Or you can put it in the comments. If you want to put it in the comments, I see it. I like it. We haven't done it on the channel yet. Um, you'll know because I'll hit it with the heart and tell you I'm going to do your request. A fun way to know it, what I've done on this channel is put Shane Diablo and then the band in the, go in the uh, YouTube search. And it'll bring up videos that I've done with that band or whatever. So that might be a thing that you want to look into. Uh, that's all I have for this. Tim, thumbs to you, my friend. Have a damn good day and a good go of things and a good life and a good everything for you, okay? Swinging out. You're not sickening. <clears throat>